What's going on fellas? Welcome back to another video, man. First delivery right here. It is Sunday, 522 in the afternoon, doing the first delivery to wrap up the week. If you guys didn't know on Sundays, it's when you close your check. The whole family's in here. We just got back from Orlando about two hours ago. Um, and we were just kind of resting. So the first decent order came in. I was getting we were getting a couple of orders, nothing good. Uh, so we're going to Chipotle right now. I think it's for like six dollars, like 1.5 miles. So pretty good. We're doing that. All right, y'all, pulling up to the Chipotle. Hopefully, it has the food ready. So the order was ready as soon as I walked in, and we are literally now two minutes away from the drop-off. This is going to be a five-minute delivery, all combined. Pick up and drop-off. Six bucks in five minutes. Yeah. Shit, yo, boys. So there's an ATV. He's going opposite way. There's another cop on the other side, and one of the cops is on this side chasing him. Uh, there was a dude on the ground. He picked him. He scooped him off of the ground, and he's on the ATV car chase right here. Look, this cop is chasing him. He's about to cross over to the other side. They're trying to trap him. Shit is getting kind of crazy. Look, they're all the way over there, far so you guys can't see him. One eternity later. What's good, boys? Yeah, we switched seats. She's driving now. Got to drive. She just did a delivery on her own. Where'd you go? She went to Pizza Hut. It was like a seven twenty-five. Seven dollars twenty-five cents for like two miles, three miles. Yeah. Not a bad delivery. And now I'm doing another pizza uh, joint right here. I got the pizza. We're pulling up to the uh, place right now. It's like a three-minute drive but from the like from the pizza a place. Minute away from the yeah, it's like a minute away from our house. So it was a good order. We got how much was this one? I don't remember. I think this is like eight twenty-five for this one. So eight twenty-five. Okay, where do I go now? It's like a seven, eight-minute delivery, pickup and drop-off. Yo, what's good, guys? So game three of the Mavericks, and I got another order coming in. McDonald's, nine dollars for two point nine miles, but we're not taking it because it's McDonald's, and they literally will take an hour to not even look at you. So no, we can't do McDonald's. Great order. Shout out to these people for tipping, but yeah, they just no, they're not good. But anyways, we have a $8.75 order for two crispy chicken sandwiches. You guys can't even see it. Here you go. Two crispy chicken sandwiches, $8.75 for 1.7 miles. Yeah, we're, we're, we love those orders. Like we've been getting some great McDonald's orders, like back to back to back. Low mileage with great tips. Plus, we're on $2 peak pay right now. And people are like tipping three to four dollars from McDonald's. I guess they're sick and tired of not getting their food. But now the problem is that the employees at McDonald's don't even look at you when you get to the store. And it'll take you 20 minutes just for someone to speak to you. Once they do speak to you, they struggle to find the order. And then it's another 15 minutes to take the order. So I'm sorry. McDonald's orders, we're not doing them. We were getting to the house because I want to watch the game. But we just got a $6 order for 1.7 miles and most of the mileage is literally just driving to the pizza joint uh, because the house is right behind it so for six dollars 1.7 and then we get to go home yeah we're doing it six bucks it's probably gonna take us about seven minutes total yeah little race pizza action 24 hours you know all right guys so quick update man we just did the delivery we got bamboozled um it took us to the middle of like a complex and we had to drive around for like 10 minutes just to find the address um, it was only a $1 tip and we spent about 15 minutes at the store waiting for the food So all in all this is like a 30 minute delivery for six dollars not, not worth it really bad experience and these are the things that happen when you're delivering What is good fellas good afternoon It is the next day and we are starting off the week. It is our first order. It's a four dollar order and it's for Chipotle um, and I already know they are not tipping, but the order is the simplest thing I've ever done. It's pick up the food from Chipotle, go 500 yards to a business right behind it, and drop it off. So, logging into the app as much as possible. I'm looking for that promo for Memorial Weekend, for Memorial Day. As soon as I see that I can schedule myself for that day, I'm going to do so. want to make sure I fill out one of those slots for that day because we definitely got to take advantage of that peak pay. Whatever it is, hopefully it's really high. Hopefully it's like 3 to $4. Uh, peak pay around here the most I've seen it lately is like two dollars and for the most part it's been one dollar and that's if they even do the peak pay but I'm assuming that on Memorial Day we're gonna get a three dollar four dollar peak pay hopefully that's the case hopefully a lot of people are ordering food that weekend let's see all right boys so just picked up another disrespectful order for three dollars and 25 cents no tip uh, to Cuban guys so we're gonna go pick that up It's a 1.7 mile uh, drive so 
I just can't get away from these orders at this point. Um, I've been around 30 minutes, 40 minutes at the house, not doing anything. And it's just nothing but these orders coming in. You know, most people don't care that it's three o'clock and you're gonna run into school traffic and school buses and school areas and you're gonna waste time. And they don't care that gas prices are at an all time high, especially here in Miami. They're just not gonna tip and that's the reality. So if you wanna make this money, you gotta accept some of these orders or you're gonna end up with $10 at the end of the day. And I'm not with that. So the plan here is to take a couple of these really bad orders and hopefully DoorDash send something decent our way to make up for the trash that we're picking up. With that being said, don't be that guy. Don't be this person that I'm delivering to. Tip your drivers, man. Absolutely do. You got the order picked up right there. And the receipt says this person paid $35 for the amount of food that they ordered. 35 bucks. And they are not tipping the driver a single dollar. Let me know how you guys feel about that. Somebody placing a $35 order, but not even giving a $1 tip to the driver. Just watch your thoughts in the comment section. Let's go with it. You know what I mean? If I pay $35 for a delivery, I'm tipping at least four to five dollars to my driver. And that's just me. That's how I, you know, move out. That's how I work. Um, it's it's quite literally the only way I'll be able to function. I, I just I I'd rather not DoorDash, you know what I mean? I won't order from DoorDash if I'm not gonna be able to tip my driver minimum three, four, five, six dollars. It's just me. That's just my opinion, that's just how I move. But how do you guys feel? $35 order, zero tip for the driver. Oh my God, bro. Oh, hell, hell no, man. man, what the fuck, man? boys another chipotle order this one is for 825 i think it's 3.7 miles and we are already on our way to deliver it this eight dollar 25 cent order is the best order we've gotten all day long and trust me we've had the apps open the entire day so let's go do it it was meant to be so we are at pollo right now and we just ordered our food a door dash came in for 0 0.7 miles for 550 so let's see if they have the order too Yeah. All right, boys, so we just got a $7 Poyo order. We are on our way to pick up the food. Hopefully it's ready. It should be like two point something miles. There should be a quick delivery. Traffic's already dying down. It's 7.42, um, so let's try to get this done. All right, boys, so a delivery that was supposed to be super basic and simple got complicated. I was waiting for one of the sides and they didn't have it, so I had to reach out to the customer after 10 minutes because I saw they were taking way too long and they offered to give her any other side, so she made a, she made a pick. She got some extra tomatoes. Um, but yeah, we lost a lot of time doing this order. I did communicate uh, with the customer though So ideally, you know, you would love to get a, a tip here for the extra effort, but that's it's okay It's still a seven dollar order, which is not bad um, But we did lose a lot of time. So that's what sucks. We could have already been onto another order Hey, that's part of the gig. It comes with it. You know what I mean? They didn't have the sides in moments like that There's only one thing to really do and it's reach out to the customer or you could drop the order I didn't want to drop the order. I had already too much time invested into it So I figured let's just switch out the sides Let's see what she wants and she was pretty quick to respond I didn't even have to call her. She responded via message. So that was ideal says we're gonna be there in about six minutes So let's get it done well, we just delivered the order and it was kind of nice. She was outside in the street waiting for her food. So that was perfect. We still got about another 23 minutes before the game starts. Actually, the game doesn't start at 8.30 on the dot. So we have about another, I want to say 40 minutes before the game starts tonight. And I do want to watch the game. Um, so if I get an order that I know I could finish before the game starts, I'm definitely going to take it. All right, guys. So I'm obviously a liar because the game already started, but I picked up another Poyo order and we are on our way to deliver. it. It's actually an Uber Eats. So it was the first Uber Eats I've done this week and only the second Uber Eats I've ever done, period. So damn, son, where'd you find this? All right, boys, we're watching the game, but our largest order just came in. I think it's twenty three seventy five. Previously, it was a $20 order. It is a stacked order. Marco's Pizza, we gotta drive 15 miles total, but the houses are right next to each other. $23.75, and that's how we're gonna end this video. We're gonna do that order, our largest order ever on DoorDash. Let's go do it. Oh my God! Wow! 
We're gonna wrap up the night with a little car wash here. We're gonna do the works, man. The car is absolutely disgusting from this trip that we just took to Orlando the other day. Twice. Two trips to Orlando back to back yeah. and we hadn't cleaned the car on the outside. So we're about to go in here and uh, take a shower. You need to take a shower. Let's go. Smells good. How come it smells like bubble gum, yo? Yeah. Look at the kids, they love it. Yeah. 